this is a, it's a very mixed jumbled moment for us because uh, we didn't expect this. We've had a few days. Uh, suddenly, uh, we were contacted by the Department of the Army and they said, we've found one dog tag, and it's your father's. Um, when I had heard that there were remains coming back, our, our family started to discuss that a little bit, but I mean, 55 boxes out of 7,700 roughly, we certainly were not anticipating. And we're really, in one small sense, the, the most fortunate because we're the only ones that have a name now of some connection. Uh, none of the remains, we don't know that they're my father's, but uh, at least we have this. I have to say, I didn't think about the emotions that were very deep, even though I was a small boy and have very little memory of my father. Um, but I sat there and I cried for a while. And uh, it took a while to compose myself. Um, and I am a retired Army chaplain, so I've made notifications. Uh, and all of those are very difficult. They've always been special to me, in a sense, because I lost my father and someone had to do that for me and my, my, my mother at some point. I have absolutely no memory of my father. When I, you know, I have a picture in my current house in Jacksonville of him, and other than that, seeing what he looked like and, and hearing a, a few things people talk about him, I, I really don't know anything about him. Uh, so I guess you generate your image of what you think about your father. And, you know, for me, it's all that I'm proud of what he did, and what he accomplished, and that he was part of a generation of people that did that. I'm not prepared to say yes, uh, but I can tell you that we look, we're going to look very carefully at the remains that were boxed with the, with the dog tag to see if it's plausible. Uh, that the remains could be the individual whose name was on the dog tag. And, and if uh, it looked plausible, then that might be a reason why we would prioritize the testing in that case. But it's a little bit early still for us to, to know which ones we would prioritize uh, in, amongst the, the 55 boxes. But we're in the process right now, even as we speak, uh, in Hawaii, the, the project team is going through all of these remains, uh, selecting where we're going to take DNA samples from and getting them into the sampling process. Um, and uh, so uh, they'll definitely be looked at very carefully, you know, treating the, the name on the dog tag as a hypothesis, if you will, that could these remains be this person. Our goal is to get the DNA samples uh, taken and sent to uh, Dr. McMahon's laboratory over the next month, uh, and then it'll be some months after that before we start to get results coming back in. But those DNA results are going to play a critical role in our assessment of how many individuals that we have. When we got 208 boxes over a five-year period in the early 90s, uh, it turned out after many years of testing, there were approximately 400 individuals represented across those boxes. Uh, so if this is like our past experience, and yeah, I would expect more than 55, but I couldn't tell you how many. What we tend to get is information saying this was found.